Tide runs a lot of programs in buffer communities to help create new sources of livelihood um, and income generation. And in Punta Negra and Monkey River specifically, we've been looking at tourism development. So in Monkey River, we've helped to develop their nature trails and trained local guides in tour guiding. Um, and in Punta Negra, we've helped to build the restaurant here and give the ladies training in business management and organizational development. Um, just to kind of open their foot into the, into the tourism market, which is growing in Belize uh, right now. These are two very small communities I was made to understand that the, the population in Monk River is about 280 people, more or less 35 families. How sustainable is such a venture for these individuals who decide that they want to go into the tourism industry? Would they need a niche or would they be able to just go full on out? Uh, well, I think the two locations we're looking at, Punta Negra and Monkey River in particular, are already a niche. Um, you know, for any tourist that wants to get off the beaten track, these are fabulous locations for people who want to view wildlife and real cultural experiences. Um, that's a growing market in the tourism industry, so I think it's a very sustainable future. Um, you know, once you're a tour guide as well, I mean, if these guys, if they want to, they can go and work elsewhere. But I think opportunities are just growing down here for people that are looking for something different, and that's exactly what they have down here.